United Nations health experts are saying the radiation plume coming from the nuclear reactors in Japan could cross the Pacific and hit California as early as Friday. But U.S. health officials say it poses very little risk. Still concerned, still concerned consumers are stocking up on potassium iodide just in case. If there's really a, some big kind of meltdown, I'm just worried that, you know, winds are blowing west. Definitely heard that it's uh, something that's going to help protect our thyroid from possible radiation. I feel strongly that there's a high likelihood that we will have radiation coming from Japan. So will these pills protect you, protect your family from the radiation exposure? Well, here to explain it all is Dr. David Samadhi from our Medical Aid team. Hey, Doc. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. How do we know, I mean, do we need to take these pills? Because we're hearing that it's coming here to the West Coast, could hit us by, or could hit the West Coast by Friday, tomorrow. Do we need to be taking these pills? I, I really don't think so. I think this uh, whole radiation spike uh, to reach all the way over the Pacific Ocean to come to California, the likelihood of that is extremely low. And it's also important for people not to panic. Really, you don't need to take these kind of pills. They have their own side effects. We're going based on the emergency guidelines that are given in the country. And, and, I, and I want to repeat again, there is no reason to really rush to these pharmacies and, and companies and buy this potassium iodine. However, there is a big risk exactly where these uh, radioactive uh, materials are in Japan. And those yeah. people are extremely at risk. They were talking about six miles. They pushed it to 12 miles and 30 miles. Now it's 50. Exactly right. And I think we are also getting a lot of mixed messages from there. It's hard to know exactly the amount of radiation that comes in. So two factors are important. The amount of radiation that comes from there and also the distance. Over 6,000 miles of over Pacific Ocean, the dilution and the factor right. to come to California, that's really outreach right. and, and it's really not. But you do know symptoms that are standard for people that have been exposed too long because a lot of times it's used as treatment radiation. For example, the first symptoms, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, you could uh, be suffering from additional exposure, right? Yes, those are like immediate symptoms that one have, uh, is going to see immediately after being exposed to radiation. Once this continues, you're going to have seizure, coma, hair loss. You can have skin irritation. You can have just like a burning, like a sunburn kind of uh, issue. So if you have any of these symptoms, obviously you want to be protective and be seeing your doctors 